हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दिव्या शिंदे फ्रॉम टी वाई इलेक्ट्रिकल आर प्रोजेक्ट नेम इज ऑटोमेटिक कंट्रोल ऑफ कॉड रोटर इन द स्मार्ट बिल्डिंग एंड अवर ग्रुप मेंबर्स आर शिंदे साक्षी गोवडे समृद्धी एंड पुण्य विशाल सो इक्वेश ऑफ मोशन देर आर टू प्लेन्स जेड एंड वाई प्लेन्स विच आर मुविंग विथ एन एंगल फाइव विच इज रोल एंगल यू स्टैंड फॉर फोर्स एंड यू टू स्टैंड फॉर मूवमेंट वेर एज मास इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट टू के जी एंड मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट वन यूनिट्स लिनियराइजेशन हियर द सिस्टम इज नॉट स्टेबल ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ साइन एंड कोस एंड फंक्शन फॉर फाइव यू वन इज कपल्ड फॉर बोथ जेड एंड वाई प्लेन Here the system is linearized over the hover points due to several properties, as u two equals to zero, which is due to roll angle, which is zero, and due to which there is no movement. Zeta equals to zeta zero, where it starts moving up and down, and the value of u one becomes m g, and the due to which the five angle becomes zero. Here zeta equals to g minus u n u one by m into cos five. Where five equals to movement divided by moment of inertia, which stays the same. Where the value of y is equals to g five, which is very small. So it is small due to sine angle. So sine of small angle is the angle itself. So we can say due to this, the five angle becomes zero. Now control this side. we we will design a controller for the system we need to design the cascaded controller for second design so there are two control variables u1 and u2 from u2 we can obtain 5 and from 5 we can obtain y it is perfect example of coupled system reference trajectory so the rot cord rotor will start from moving from Point zero zero, and after moving, it will again come back to the point zero zero. Here, the value of z equals to five sine t, whereas the value of y equals to point five sine point five t. From the library browser, drag sum block. G will go into minus sign, and t will go into plus sign. From library browser, drag constant block. Give name. Give name G for the block. Constant value is minus nine point eight one. Delta going to minus sign. U one equal to force. U one is a control input. From the library browser, drag gain block. Value is. One upon zero point two, then connect all the elements. Then we can perform double integration because we have z double dash. We need g. So Thevenin's integrator in Simulink browser and drag into two blocks. Now we can obtain z dash from z double dash, and we can uh, create an output block to represent z. we need to have feedback into our system y double dash g into ph1 i phi equal to u2 upon xx y double dash g into phi so drag in one over axis set that to 1 upon 0.2 create another input for that then we gain then we again perform double integration to get phi to phi double dash we also drag another output block since our phi will be cascaded into y and feedback as well now we can drag in output and send it to phi since the phi multiply by g we need gain block for gravity we set value g 9.8 now we can connect the block we need to perform double integration to obtain y from y double dash we drag we drag output send it to y now our input 
can be changed u1 and u2 as shown here Now let's do y double dot and do it as a 1 upon i axis and give an input as a u2 and now we it is time to integrate as a pi double dot so we will drag one more output and So here we will rename as a phi and phi double dot. So here we will drag an output and connect it to. So we have to gain a gain block to the gravity. So now we will connect the phi as shown here. So now we will perform another double integration to the y double dot. So once it's connected, we will drag an output here. So inputs will change as an u1 and u2. So now our plug is done and uh, we will select all and do is it as an subsystem there before that we will check all signs and connections so select all and uh, click on select click on create subsystem the pd controller pd means proportional derivative controller there is no integral action because the function itself is quite linear. So set kp and kd value and ki to 0 everywhere. Then simply set the kp and kd value. For the y function, the kp is shown here 0 0.3 and kd is 10. And for the v function, the kp and kd must be very high because the linear loop dynamic is must be faster than the outer loop dynamic. This is the fundamental concept of cascade controller because the inner loop dynamic uh, must be quicker uh, with respect to outer loop dynamic. So we, when we run the controller, the saturation. So when we run the controller, the phi value is jumping very high up and down. So we can stabilize this by using the saturation block and drag it in. Then we can set the limit 0.8 rad which is about 85 to 90 degree and connect the block as shown. Then we can run our updated system and connect the uh, scope to the system and showing the input and output comparing it. So setting up the scope and then hit the run again and showing the output block. And now we can see the result. Uh, the phi value is much quicker. This is all about the PD controller. Thank you.